Welcome to Art for Film's Sake. I'm Stephen Reed, and this is There Will Be Blood by Ollie Moss. Film and literature is full of sinners. And you've probably guessed by now which of the seven sins we associate with this lot. Yep, it's the second one. Greed. Another name to add to that list is Daniel Plainview. One day in 1902, something happens that changes his life forever. He strikes oil. Oil, in many ways, is the perfect metaphor for greed. It's out there, all around us, waiting hiding below the surface, ready to corrupt all those that seek it. There Will Be Blood, directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, is an unflinching and powerful film. A stark reminder of the power of greed. Creating a poster for this film would require something raw and brutal. A vivid concept that strikes you deep down inside. Something that grabs you in the guts and then won't let go. Well, here it is. It hits you hard all right. Daniel Plainview, the excellent Daniel Day-Lewis, is a shrewd and manipulative man prepared to do whatever was needed to get at the black stuff. To become a successful oil man, Plainview overcame many obstacles. But there's one thing that he didn't bargain for. The church. Specifically a smooth and sanctimonious young preacher, Eli Sunday, played by Paul Dano, whose family ranch Plainview has had to buy to get at the oceans of oil underground. And my stomach spoke in a whisper, not a shout. The fascinating moral battle between the two becomes the main thread of the film. The oil man's capitalist pursuit of wealth versus the church man's righteous beliefs escalates and spills over into some intense clashes. And it's this rivalry that Moss has seized upon and thrust right into the center of this extraordinary piece of work. That imposing oil well, beautifully combined with that huge cross, looms large on the silhouetted landscape. A quite brilliant idea that gets straight to the point. Simple, crude, emphatic. And then, as you take in that meticulously crafted horizon, you begin to notice another simple masterstroke that Moss has pulled off. Just like the focus of those exquisitely rendered toiling figures on the surface, your eyes are pulled downwards into the blackness beneath it all. Down, down into the depths below, into a vast ocean of black gold. It's a pure and powerful expression of the seemingly limitless amount of oil there was waiting to be found. Impossible to resist. Come and get me, it says. I'm right here. I'm what you've been searching for. You can have it all. And to give over half of the composition to a block of pure black is design discipline at its best. It allows Moss to place those glorious titles and credits right there in your face. 
I'm a stickler for titles and credits on a film poster, so to see these take up so much space in all their centred glory brings me great pleasure indeed. I also love how Moss has faithfully rendered the typeface, but with the added blood splashes. A really nice touch. And it's impossible to ignore that orange sky too. It blazes with the incandescent rage of a burning oil well. Yet another great metaphor for the dangers that lurk in this savage world of entrepreneurial prehistory. And again, if you look closely, you see that there are more and more oil wells disappearing off into the distance. There's no getting off this train now. Don't stop now. There's more, much more. Moss, like the film, is showing us our dysfunctional relationship with capital and natural resources, and even hints at a grim future in which our addiction to oil can no longer be fed. There Will Be Blood is a dark, uncompromising film thrillingly original and distinctive, driven with a visionary passion. A familiar tale of a familiar sin. And what Ollie Moss has created is not just a stunning film poster. He's also given us a savagely beautiful reminder that greed is not good. Not good at all. Thank you.